True Grit, from what I know, is about a little girl whose dad got killed, and she's trying to avenge her father's death with an old cowboy. True Grit. Starring John Wayne as Rooster Cogburn, the most colorful character he's ever played. If I smelled as bad as you, I wouldn't live near people. Kim Darby as Matty Ross. I think True Grit is sort of a, it's a landmark American story. A lot of people identify with it because you've got this plucky girl, this unlikely heroine who is, she's so, she's overcome with emotion and yet she's just charging forward. She's doing what has to be done to take care of her family, to take care of getting justice. She's got this, this deep-rooted sense of justice. It's a revenge tale, and yet it's more of a justice tale. I'm looking for Tom Cheney. Well, who is he? He's the man that shot and killed my father, Frank Ross. I, I, I look at it as like one of these classic, um, you know, American tales. It's like the American uh, journey. And it's flipped a little bit because you don't have the wild rebel going out there and you know cutting out for the for the territory, but you have you know this this civilizing influence as I I see Maddie. Once I stood in the night, I'm about to embark on a great adventure. With my head bowed low, I intend to see Papa's killer hanged. They tell me you're a man with true grit. That's your name, girl. My name is Maddie Ross. In the darkness is I'm not knocking Hathaway's movie. It's a good film. But it betrays just a little bit the essence of that, the essence of True Grid. And it makes it more a fairy tale than it ought to be. When I first saw the, uh, the first uh, edition of uh, True Grit, it did not remind me of Fort Smith. Uh, it, it, was, uh, it was disappointing in their location, as, as the whole movie was. What are you doing? Looking for sign. You couldn't see it if you saw it. The 1969 film landscape, <laughs> if anybody came to Arkansas as a result of that film, trying, hoping to see the Rocky Mountains of Fort Smith, they were sorely disappointed. I think you're too busy collecting a reward for Cheney. Well, I was just a little busy. Them Texicans forgot how much money they offered for reward. I had to help them remember. Um, my name's Madeline Kroll. I'm right here in Dardanelle, Arkansas. Foot of Mount Nebo on a 200 acre farm. I think the beauty of the material is in the, pers the characterizations of the people from Arkansas. And it's, it's in what they do. It's in that true grit that is manifested by Rooster Cogburn and, you know, more importantly, by Maddie Ross. I think she's the one in the story who has the real true grit. My friends thought I should try out because they said I embodied Maddie Ross, that I had the exact same personality of her, and because I love horses so much that it would just be a good part for me. It was pretty neat just for her to be able to, got, to have gotten a call back was pretty, pretty amazing. She especially wanted me to make sure if she got the part that they didn't get a stunt double uh, for the movie where she where the Maddie was swimming her horse across the Arkansas supposedly the Arkansas River but uh, she was especially adamant about that she wanted to do that stunt herself I have complete trust in my horse and I know that I'm a good swimmer I'm not bragging anything but definitely think I can swim across the Arkansas River with my horse I think my daughter could more than handle John Wayne. <laughs> she would give him a run for his money. <laughs> I'd try. I don't know if I could see she, she would. I was very lucky to have the opportunity to, to audition for this film. The agency in Little Rock uh, hosted the people who were uh, coming to look for the Maddie character. Um, and as a courtesy to the agency, the uh, talent person agreed to see a few of his people. And I just happened to be one of them. And for one time in my life, being old and fat with white hair paid off. Mr. Cogburn, in your four years as U.S. Marshal, 
How many men have you shot? Shot or killed? Let us restrict it to killed so that we may have a manageable figure. I, like every other Arkansan, was a little disappointed that they didn't actually shoot any of the movie in Arkansas. Uh, but, you know, once you hit that set, it just, the feeling was so wonderful that I think it's definitely a compliment to Fort Smith. And I think that they really did study Fort Smith and try to recreate some of the things that are there. This is really hard scrabble, kind of scrubby country, a lot of it. and. I think if you're true to that country, <laughs> it tells you it takes you someplace differently than the than the Hathaway movie did. You know, I mean, it's a little truer and a little grittier. We're being followed. What do we do, Marshal? You missed your shot, Cogburn. Just let this go. I thought you were going to say the sun was in your eyes. That is to say, your eye. Now what, Cogburn? Them boys don't think about the wrath that's about to set down on it. Jack and his gang are a rough lot. I do not regret shooting your father. Seeing Josh Brolin's uh, eyebrows in a little jar label Josh Brolin's eyebrows on my makeup table certainly makes me uh, fascinated when I see the trailers on TV because I can't help but do anything but stare at his eyebrows to see what kind of a job the makeup artist really did. 